Hey guys, Chris here. Um, I'm going to show you today how to make a iPhone ringtone in GarageBand. Um, as you know, if you try to make a ringtone um, on your iPhone, you'll see that I think you have to pay for each one you make, like out of the uh, music on your iPhone or um, if you go into iTunes uh, and try and make one. It's like 99 cents um, to make one. So if you have a Mac and you have GarageBand, um, you can actually make one of any song you want and put it on your iPhone for free. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty, pretty simple. So we're going to start off opening GarageBand down here. Um, when it opens up, you will actually see a specific uh, option to make an iPhone ringtone. Um, you, know, you can do all this stuff, but for an iPhone ringtone, this is the best way to go. Um, you can choose a loop, which will start you with a little uh, automatic kind of ringtone that you can adjust. Same with example ringtone voice. You can record your voice, I guess, if you were to. Um, so we'll just do example, or we'll do loops to start off. Doesn't really matter either one. Um, let's just say, we'll call this ringtone. Um, if you know what song you're going to do um, for your ringtone, go ahead and name it that. It's just easier when it imports into iTunes, but it uh, doesn't really matter either way. So we're going to create the, the file. Um, now you can see this is one that they've already kind of pre-made. Um, I'm sure it's just super awesome and great sounding. Let's take a listen here. All right, so every time somebody calls, that's what you would hear. Um, as awesome as that is, we want to make our own one. So I'm going to go ahead and just select this all, just delete it. Um, and then if you go into, click on each track, just hit Apple or Command Delete. And that'll get rid of all those as well. Um, the, the track you can actually make, I believe it is like 40 seconds maybe. Maybe it's just 25. Um, let's see here. Yeah, if I could get it to click right, that'd be awesome. I, I guess you can really make it as long as you want. Um, I normally go down here at the bottom and I change this to um, actual seconds. It just gives you a little better idea of how long your ringtone is. Let's just go ahead and set it to 30 seconds, give or take. Um, but that way when you make your ringtone, it'll be a set time. All right, so then you go up to control and you're going to show your media browser. Uh, you can do, if you had like an, a garage band song you made that you like, you could choose that. But if you want to do a song that is on the radio or something like that, that you have in your iTunes, you just click on iTunes and click on music. Let's do, let's find us an awesome song. Um, we'll do, I don't know. Let's just do, find just a song in general. That's not going to be swearing profusely at you when you listen to it. All right, let's just do a Foo Fighter song. Uh, we'll just do Learn to Fly. So what you're gonna do, once you find the song that you want, um, we should've done Fit Loose, that would've been you know, amazing, I'm sure. Learn to Fly, you're gonna drag it, click and drag it into your track. You'll see it make a new track and everything for it. Um, now, something I do kind of ahead of time is I bring this audio down a little bit because if you do it at your normal zero decibels, it's gonna normally clip and sound really crappy, especially when it rocks out on your phone. Um, so I normally bring it down to, I don't know, five or six, give or take. Each song's gonna be different, so it may be kind of something where you, once you export the song into iTunes and you listen to it, you'll hear if it sounds really choppy and clippy, then you'll just go back into uh, GarageBand and turn it down a little bit. Um, so you'll wanna go in and you're gonna find out what part of the song you wanna listen to. Um, we'll just start it from the beginning here and you can hear, this is what your ringtone would sound like. Okay, whatever. So, um, and that'll go for 30 seconds uh, or 29, whatever I ever set up. It's probably supposed to be 30. So, um, then what I do is I come in once I have the part of the song that I want. I bring your little uh, your cursor here to the timeline. It's at the end of the yellow selection because again, your yellow selection up here is how long your your uh, ringtone is going to be. So I put it at the end and then I hit Command T. That breaks the song up and I just delete this excess nonsense because you just don't need it. Um, and then that's really all there is to it. You'll go in here and you're gonna go share. You're gonna send um, your ringtone to iTunes and it should open up and actually play it automatically. Yeah, and you can kind of hear it's actually a little choppy sounding so I would go back in here, bring it down a little bit. Um, let's, do the, let's do 10 and then we'll send it to iTunes again. 
Um, if it makes another file, I think normally it puts like a one afterwards. Let's see. Unless it just overwrites it. Okay, so you can see. Um, so then I just want to go in and I'll just delete this other one that I made that was a little choppy. Um, so then here's your ringtone. Uh, let's change it to the name of the song. Again, when you create your file, if you change it to whatever the song is, it'll import that way, but I don't know, just wait till the end. Um, and you may have your iTunes set up to where it's going to pull up music first and play. Just go down here and click on tones. It's, you have the new iTunes installed. And then once that's done, you just plug in your iPhone, um, sync it up to your tones, and you should be good to go. And then you just go into your phone settings and uh, choose ringtones, and you'll see Learn to Fly there. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty simple thing. It's cool to make your own ringtones. Again, just keep in mind that this is going to play every time you have somebody call you. And if it's obscene or outrageous, people are going to give you probably awesome looks. But, you know, maybe that's something that you're into. It's all good. So uh, I hope this has helped. Um, if it has, please subscribe. I'm going to try and put more videos up um, to help with any questions you have. But if you have a specific uh, item you need help with, let me know. I'll be happy to do it. But uh, any further questions, just put in the comments. And I appreciate it. I hope you all have a excellent day. Thanks.